Hello, 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 you guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. This is Goddess of Light McGee coming back with another video. You guys, as you enter the room, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button as well as the notification bell there on your right. Tap that little bell for me, and that way every time I go live or I upload a video or whatever I do on my channel, you will be here for it, okay? All right, all right. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. I am having a wonderful day so far, and I just wanted to come on to share a little more spirituality with you guys today. I'm trying to stick to the spiritual journey that I'm on and the spiritual process, the enlightenment and all of that. So if I get thrown off and I upload videos that's not spiritual, I will delete that video. I just uploaded a video and I said, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to be doing that. <laughs> you got to get back on the path and stay on the path. So you guys, I'm going to try to stay on the path and keep my content to spirituality and uh, all things spiritual okay right. what i wanted to talk to you guys about today as you may have already seen on the bottom left hand corner of the screen there are the words paying homage to the ancestors paying homage to the ancestors okay let's get off into it what I mean uh, uh, by paying homage to the ancestors is when we recognize them. Um, we know that they are still here with us and they are not forgotten. Okay? There are many different ways that we can pay homage to the ancestors. And I would just sh like to share with you guys that some of the things that I do uh, when I'm paying homage to the ancestors. Okay? Now, we all know um, today, well, excuse me, this month is being recognized nationwide as Black History Month. Black History Month. During this month is when a lot of people all around the world, wherever they are, they pay extra homage to the ancestors. They have programs about them, they have parades, uh, they do different plays, they, you know, get together and have cookouts and meals and all different kinds of things that they do during this uh, month called Black History Month uh, to celebrate or remember or recognize the ancestors. But what I want to do on the spiritual side of it is I want to share with you guys uh, some of the things that I do when I pay homage to the ancestors, not only during the month of February, but every day, daily. You don't have to wait until uh, the nation, uh, the nation's leaders decide when they want to um, pick a month that they want to recognize. <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Black History. I recognize black history and my ancestors daily. Okay? All right. Number one, the first thing I do, uh, I'm not going to make it all long and drawn out. We can share as we go along on this spiritual journey. I will be sharing other ways of paying homage to my ancestors. Okay, but uh, what I want to share with you today, on this Tuesday, February the 5th, 2019, is how I pay homage to my ancestors, okay? The first thing I do after I've had a great night's sleep of great dreams, lucid dreaming, and I've had a great night rest, when I arise in the morning, the first thing I do is I take my glass of water that's always by my bedside the glass of water or a bottle of water okay either one 
and I the first thing I do when I awake is I take that glass of water a bottle of water whatever whichever one it is and I grab it and I drink from it okay as I'm drinking from the bottle or glass of water I am speaking into that water because we know water is life our body is made up of water 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 we need water to survive and I speak to my water okay <clears throat> excuse me some of the things I would do is I will call my ancestors name you can I call on eat anyone that whichever one comes to my mind I call on that particular ancestor and then as I'm drinking the water I'm up I'm walking towards my kitchen okay as I take a few sips and pay homage to a few of my ancestors I come into my kitchen and I take that glass of water or the bottle of water and I pour just a little bloop into the sink and I say peace love and light to all of the ancestors two times peace love and light to the all to all the ancestors three times peace love and light to all of the ancestors okay I pay homage to all three by pouring a libation which is just pour a little water into the sink or wherever you would like to pour it some people pour it onto the ground into a bowl I choose to pour it in the sink and that has worked for me since I have started my spiritual journey and I recognize them by pouring a libation okay and once I'm done pouring the third libation, after I've said peace, love, and light to all the ancestors, I then commence to saying, Ashe, which means so shall it be. Ashe, so shall it be. Ashe, hmm. so it is, so shall it be. Ashe, hmm. So that is one way I start my day off paying uh, homage to my ancestors. From there, I go and I have a special altar. You might want to set up an altar for your ancestors to remember them by. So you can look at them and talk to them and whatever you want to do to them because they are still there. We are all made of energy and we know that energy never dies. Okay? Their body the outside shell which covers our soul our spirit is is always here you know the spirit never dies the soul never dies okay the body might be gone but their souls are, are with us their spirits are with us and they are here to help us to watch over us uh, to communicate with us but I get a little deeper into that later on in the week but right now we're gonna stay with paying homage okay so what I do then is I uh, go to my little altar that I have set up of my mom my father my grandparents my sisters and brothers that have gone to the other side their body but their spirit is here <laughs> uh, you know all of my ancestors that have uh, crossed over have transcended to a higher place I have them on my altar that I set up okay my altar is just a little you know you just get your little cloth and put it over your whatever you want to pick out a little table whatever you want to have as your altar you just you know I just spread a little piece of cloth I prefer white cloth because that means purity okay and it's, it's spiritual cleansing so I use the white cloth and I simply spread it over um, you know the top of my what I'm using for an altar and then I have a little little round uh, like a plate thing it's not a plate but it's it looks like a plate but it's not a plate so I have that and then I have their pictures all around that 
on that uh, platter or whatever you want to call it and their favorite some of their favorite things that they used to love when they were here on this side with us um, as well as um, I have my my white candles for purity and cleansing and then I also add uh, the green candles for prosperity and money and then I have red candles for love because we still love them so we know they're going to be with us to help build our spirituality, uh, to be here with us, to help us prosper in good health and money and whatever we, we, we need or we lack or whatever. And then we always have our red candle to show our love to them, okay? And just whatever things they like, you know, my, um, if your, your father, if he love, um, Coca-Cola, you know, I have Coca-Cola there for him, a little bottle of Coca-Cola, the old bottles that the Coca-Colas used to come in the bottle, so I have that for him, you know, and my mother, the thing she used to love, her, her fruits, her peaches, and her oranges and apples, she loved fruits, so I have that for her, and my sisters and brothers, sort of the things they loved when they were here, so I have that all on my altar, you don't have to have a big altar like I have, I just, you know, Everyone does it different. You might look into some other things that people use on the altar to pay homage to the ancestors. So I, I go and I visit that and I um, take my incense. I have incense on there as well. And I light the candles for them every morning. Okay. And then I, I say my ancestral prayer, which I will share with you all. Or you could just say whatever you want to say on your own. I do my ancestral prayer to them. And I end my prayer with Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So may it be. As it is, so shall it be. As it is, so shall it be. As it is, so shall it be. And uh, that's about it. You know, I might have missed a few steps, but um, that's how I pay homage to my ancestors daily. And then, you know, all through the day, you know, I'll, I'll recognize them. If I pass by a picture of them on the wall, I don't just, if my eyes happen to glance over and see them, I don't just keep going. You got to say, hello, mother, hello, father, or whatever, you know. Some people might think it's strange, but it, it's really not. It's really not. And as you start your spiritual journey, you will, you will realize some of the things that I'm saying, which I used to think people were out of their mind. Uh, for even doing things like that, I had no idea that though that the people would was really doing that. You know, talking to the ancestors, talking to the the pictures, and you know all of this. Now, you know, people see you doing it, they say, "Oh, she crazy. You crazy?" No, you know what? The very elite of this world, they do it. And they prosper, and they're in good health, and they're protected. So we'll talk about that at another time as well. <laughs> you know, a lot of things have been hidden from hidden from us, and they say, you know, people would tell you, oh, that's a bad thing, you know. But you know, if something is being hidden from you, you should try to find out why. Okay, why are they hiding that from me? Hmm, why don't want me to know this? Why are they saying it's bad? Who told you that it was bad? Who gave you the authority to say something is good and something is bad? So if someone's trying to hide something from you, like they say, if you want to hide something from a black man or a woman, just put it in a book. You know why? Because they they started that um, mantra. They started saying that because they, they thought we couldn't read. So everything that they wanted to hide from us, they wrote about it. And they figured we wouldn't read it. Okay? But once you start your spiritual journey, your eyes become open. You become aware of things that have been hidden. Things that are deep, deep, deep. Things that go deep, deep, deep. Take you deep into the rabbit hole. And once you start on that journey, uh, it's, there's no turning back. There's no going back to the old you or whatever you were doing before. There's no going back because you can't. There's, there's, you can't go back, even if you wanted to. You can't erase the enlightenment from your mind. Once you are enlightened, you are enlightened, and the journey continues. Okay? 
all right you guys i won't bore you i just wanted to um come in and speak to you all about uh, paying homage to the ancestors of today and i will be back tomorrow be back tomorrow to bring you guys another great video okay all right have a great day and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell that way you won't miss any of, of my videos okay thank you namaste ashe